Okay, first edition continues to highlight the interview we just had with CCISD Superintendent Dr. Roland Hernandez and Police Chief Kirby Warnke. Here is what Dr. Hernandez had to say about teacher retention and the future of STAR testing. Dr. Hernandez, what other incentives does CCAD, CCISD offer their teachers? Yeah, so we, uh, we really try not just to focus on pay per year. Uh, we know that's important, but we try to focus on their benefits uh, for all of our employees. So we, we know that CCISD's benefits package compares among the state's best districts to offer that. And uh, while it may not be 100% on everything, uh, their medical is covered up to a certain percentage, but then anything like the extras, vision, dental, cancer, whatever they choose to put in it, would be something in addition that they would cover. I would also add too that we give a $15,000 life insurance to all of our employees. Uh, and we know how important that is. We have found over the course of some years where families really struggle in times of need like that. That's not something we want to happen, but in reality it does. And the bigger the district, the more often you're gonna come across situations like that. So we're always just trying to find ways to make CCISD the place that our teachers and employees wanna be. Um, and so it's to just except here's where we are and what can we do to make their situation better. We've uh, learned a lot of things from the pandemic. I think it's safe to say we've moved from that now. What holdovers are you finding actually have worked, have benefited CCISD? Um, and then when it comes to STAR testing, mm -hmm. uh, the way that's implemented now, all, all online, mm -hmm. all those results that way. Well, you know, that's crazy that we think back now, but all things happen for a reason, right? And that was a situation when the pandemic came up, we were not ready and aware of where we stood exactly with accessibility for many families and students and since then as a result of the pandemic we are in a much better place now moving forward and we kept that in place so we're almost a one-to-one -one district uh, where every one student has access of their own with laptops uh, we make it available the wi-fi capabilities uh, in the neighborhoods i remember there was a time where we were parking school buses in parking lots just to give those neighborhoods mm -hmm. that accessibility and we learned then you may do something up to this point but what can you do to go above and beyond to see the entire interview head over to our three news plus app